if x is negative, is x less than negative 3? So this is actually a huge piece of information they've given us in the prompt. We know for a fact that x is negative in this question. Statement number one tells us that x squared is greater than 9. Well, x squared is greater than 9, that can happen in two ways. That can happen either if x is a positive number greater than 3, or it can happen if it is a negative number that is more negative, that is to say less than negative 3. Well, we know for a fact that x is negative, so this scenario is out, and so it necessitates x being less than negative 3. So in other words, this piece of information directly leads to the answer to the question. So this statement by itself is sufficient. Now forget statement number one. Statement number two tells us that x cubed is less than negative nine. Well, that's interesting. First of all, remember that the cube of a negative number would be negative. Well, negative three cubed, that equals negative 27. And of course, negative 2 cubed, that equals negative 8. And so if we squared a decimal between 2 and 3, so for example, say negative 2.5 cubed, that's going to be something that will be somewhere between 8 and 27, and it's definitely going to be more negative than negative 9, but in other words, here, we don't necessarily know. Here we have a number where this x is not less than negative 3. But of course, we could also pick values for x. We could pick x equals negative 10, in which case negative 10 cubed is negative 1,000, which of course is less than negative 9. This is an x that is less than negative 3. So in other words, we can pick values that are consistent with statement number two that are either greater than negative three or less than negative three. So statement number two by itself does not allow us to distinguish, does not allow us to determine whether x is less than negative three or not. So statement number two is insufficient. One is sufficient, two is insufficient, answer choice A.